Hi, it's John. It's the 28th of March 2015. About three weeks ago, my, my mate gave me some tomato plants. They'd come from a garden centre and they were a bit sorry for themselves and they'd been reduced. They were plug plants. And I potted them up into some compost and they've done varyingly. Um, some of them are money maker, some of them are golden sunrise, and uh, there's some other ones as well. So the money makers haven't done um, hugely, gone hugely big. I mean, this is a nice little money maker. This one here, uh, that's about right, uh, and that's a money maker, I think. Um, this one's a money maker, but it nearly died. But it's coming back to life again now. And I just think, is that a money maker? Yeah, that's a, that's a money maker. Um, oh, and that's a money maker there. Now, uh, the question is when to transplant them. Now, what are they in? About four inch pots here. Um, now, this one I'm going to transplant because you can see it's not happy. Well, it is happy, it's too happy, it's grown too big. And you can see the plug in here. Um, look, that's for the plug there, still in the plug. I don't know whether there's going to be any roots at the bottom of the pot. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I wonder whether the camera can see that. Yeah, there are a few roots at the bottom. It looks dry at the bottom as well. It's amazing how much um, moisture they use. Look, and I'm going to leave these side shoots. See, look, there's a side shoot coming there. There's a few buds there, look, there. With my thumb is that that's a few flower buds and then there's a side shoot there I'm gonna leave that side shoot for a cutting and you get the cuttings off them save them to plant seeds um, and and that they have different characteristic tomato cuttings so I've put the other plants out of the way and I've selected a pot to put this in let's see how I get on um, there's my pot, it's plant. We had a look at the bottom to see where the roots. Now let's see if we can get it out. Let's hope we get it out without doing damage. Now it's best not to handle the plant any more than necessary. I'm just pressing the pot in a bit and seeing if the pot will come off. Oh, here we go. Look at that. That's in the camera. Those roots, they're all right. You might take the pot. Just put a little bit of soil in the bottom, not much. Right. And then try not to damage it, possibly holding it by the leaves. So as it doesn't break the stem, oh, dropped it. Now I'm going to have to lift it with the stem. Now I'm trying to get the stem sort of in the middle if you can. There we go. It's got one of the cotyledon leaves left up, one of the baby leaves. And I'm going to plant it pretty deep in this pot because roots will grow out of the stem and they say they'll be the feeding roots. Now quite when you pot a plant on it's a uh, you know it's what it looks like really I mean obviously that one need pot on because it was flopping over but I mean it, this one looks right in here, doesn't it? And it looks like it's got some growing room. Um, if you put it in too big, then you plant it right at the bottom of the, well, you plant it right at the top of the pot. Now that looks right to me. Let's hope it goes on well. I've got another one to transplant this size as well. So I can find another pot that size. That looks lovely, doesn't it? That looks gorgeous. Now I think this is probably Golden Sunrise because the other one that is this size is Golden Sunrise. And uh, that should be well ahead of the season. Okay, bye for now.